Starting off as the cute little Kid Appeal character in a beloved 80s franchise, he evolved, growing stronger, putting down all those who would claim his title in a violent climb to the top, dominating the franchise from which he was born and appointing himself the main character of virtually all new Transformers media in the last seven years. His coming was inevitable. He is Bumblebee. I've been meaning to make Bumblebee for a while now, for over three years at least. However, I really struggled to find a design that would accommodate for the big constraint that I place on all of my 3D printed Transformers, that they print in one piece. That means that they are ready to go right off the build plate, but it also means that every single component in the model has to make contact with the build plate at at least one point, and there can't be any large overhangs. I decided early on to print the wheels separately, and once I did that, I came up with this sketch two years ago. My Bumblebee is the smallest transformer I've ever made. It's the most articulated transformer I've ever made. And I borrowed its design cues from virtually every iteration of the character. Except Train Bumblebee. We don't talk about Train Bumblebee. And here he is, the smallest, most articulated transformer that I have ever made. Stands on his own, his head can turn around, his arms have a shoulder as well as an elbow joint. Bend at the knees, nothing at the waist or the hips, unfortunately, but he does stand on his own. And each one of these tires is spinnable. Now, if you wait a little more, they're actually pretty free spinning, and he would probably roll on his own, but he, he's fairly lightweight. Um, and there's a little bit of a compliant mechanism in there that snaps those tires on with a mushroom peg, which is pretty cool. Another thing you can do is you can fit his little blasters in his hands. They're very, very small. They're tiny. So if uh, it looks kind of hard for me to do here, it's because it is kind of hard. To do. Like so. Now he's deadly. He's armed. He's dangerous. Bumblebee, stop lubricating the max. And uh, transformation is fairly straightforward. First thing you're going to want to do is pull those blasters out. And you're going to want to make sure his head is straight. He'll come around to the back here and you'll push from the center. Get those legs swinging all the way around. And you'll kind of see the lower end of the legs, the shins, are going to come over and cover up his head. There's a little tab on the front underneath the windshield that'll hold those in place. The arms come in from the back of the car, and then the cool thing is you take his little blasters, and there is actually storage for these. Maybe I can load, so you have them in here in the back. Again, very small, so kind of hard to do. And now there is exhaust. And I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. That's a kind of a pet feature of mine. He transforms into a little muscle car. Styled a little bit after the live action in Transformers Prime vehicles, but also he's got a stripe and a little light bar on him. Or not a light bar, a little lamp, like Transformers animated Bumblebee. For some vehicle mode size comparisons, we have Bumblebee here. And you're gonna see just how small he is. Here's Prime. <laughs> Big old bloke. A few more size comparisons. Here's B. Next to Combitron. Very big. For all those of you who are Cyberverse fans out there, here's B compared to Windblade. Still much larger. And last but not least, we'll do Megatron here. Again, much, much larger. <laughs> he is... Hot wheel sized, and I am proud of that. And in robot mode, the size disparity becomes even more apparent. <laughs> your squeaking's not the problem. It's your squawking. Now, just due to his tiny size, Bumblebee was actually quite challenging to get right into print. And I ended up with a small handful of failed bumblebee prints, although 
Look on the bright side, they're all fairly accurate cliff jumpers. My name is Cliff Jumper. Clean that up. Thanks for watching. I don't know what I'll be making next or when I'll get around to it. But in the meantime, be sure to check out my other 3D printed transformers, as well as the excellent 3D printed Happy Meal inspired Wasp from Transformers Animated by Hightail Creations. The files for all of my 3D printed transformers are available for free at the link in the description below, which goes to my thingiverse.com profile. So feel free to hit that up and print your own to mess with. Adios. I believe in you! You did it, little friend. You saved me.